guys or I guess I can't even say good morning because it's afternoon um, but I am just doing my makeup and obviously vlogging today um, yeah I don't know why it's just like it's bright and sunny out here for once yesterday we had like the first really nice weather day that we've had in like four months where it was like over 60 degrees and it's just making me really happy so I thought that I would vlog I had a super slow start to my morning because I went in for my glucose test yesterday um, and I had to get up really early for it and then <laughs> the drink that they make you drink made me feel really sick um, and so the rest of the day yesterday was just kind of like I felt like I had like a sugar crash but like I never had the sugar high um, because it's 50 grams of sugar that is in that drink that they make you take. Um, so I just felt really sick and like tired all day. So I slept in until almost 10 today. Um, which I mean, we're quarantined. What else do I have to do? I'm, you know, in my third trimester. So I'm cutting myself some slack for getting some extra rest. Um, so yeah, I didn't wake up until almost 10 today. And I'm sure you guys saw I made some breakfast. I made um, this like crab roll like filling um, and put it on some toast with a fried egg which if you know me it's very weird because I normally hate eggs and the last like three weeks I've been making a lot of like fried egg on toast with like avocado or crab or whatever so that's been like super weird pregnancy change for me. And then I played some Animal Crossing and then I did a little workout um, and I just got out of the shower from just rinsing off because I got very, very sweaty. I actually did the same workout that I did I think in my last vlog, which was the Tone It Up Mama Tone prenatal workout. Um, and it is hard, it is a hard workout. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I have had like i've been having some weird body image um stuff the last you know couple of weeks i'm obviously getting a lot bigger my body's like starting to store fat in like my arms and stuff which is such a bummer because i feel like i still eat so healthy and i work out and like i don't know i know it's normal but i found my first stretch marks yesterday so <laughs> That was a little bit sad. So my workout today just like helped me feel strong and helps me remember that like my body is still strong even if it's changing a little bit. So that was nice. But yeah, I don't really know what we'll get up to today. I got most of my client work for the week done like earlier this week and I have like a sponsored video that needs to get filmed um, this week but I'm waiting on some info from the brand first about what they need for this one certain part of the video. Um, so today is really kind of like a free day, which is so crazy. I feel like this quarantine is really um, just redefining how I look at productivity because I am like an Enneagram 3 to the max. And when I'm not being productive, I feel kind of useless and worthless. Um, but I have been better about that during this quarantine. Okay pause while I eyeliner with the Glossier, what's it called, pro tip? I love this. So anyways, um, my bike is um, broken. Well, it's not broken, it just has like a flat tire. Um, so I know we're gonna try to fix that today. Um, I need to do some cleaning and reorganizing around the house. We might bake something, who knows. I like don't have a lot of flour left because everybody's making bread at home during the quarantine i don't know what my baking options are maybe i'll do like like make a sugar scrub or something for the shower instead i don't know but yeah that's kind of the plan as loosely as you can call that a plan for, for the day but i don't know it's just a nice sunny happy day matt and i are about to take a walk and i thought it would be a fun vlog so i'm gonna finish up my makeup Ooh, clumpy Ooh, this is a sample mascara it's very clumpy but yeah see you guys when i'm done with my makeup it 
very simple, but that's more than I've done in a few days. So Matt and I are gonna go on a little walk now. It's time for Poo Sticks round three. <laughs> Are you ready? I got Show me your stick. <laughs> I'll do the beauty guru. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is mine. Yours is very small. The current score is, hey, size doesn't matter. The current score is Megan two, Matt zero. So it'll be one, two, three drop. Okay. Except, see, it's like, it's not moving right here. So we need to like get over it as far as we can. Yeah. So one, two, three, go. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, go. It happened again. <laughs> Except yours is going. Nope. Nope. It's still there. There goes Megan's. I still don't see it. No, they were moving pretty slowly. The suspense is killing me. You think you got caught on something? Yeah, go check the other side. Okay, you gotta tell me though. Okay, I'll tell you. You're right. There's mine! Yes! No. Yep. Oh, totally. I don't even see yours. Is yours over there? Oh, I thought for sure I had it. I thought too. Unless I missed it. Look, there he goes. Whee! Wait, where's yours though? Because yours yours is still there. Oh, I see it. It's right there. It's just chilling. Oh, wow. Well. Womp womp. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're still beating me. It's two to one. Okay. All right. Next time. Same same bat channel. Same bat place. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> There's our very cute patio that I finally started putting back together yesterday. So Matt just realized that this little Halloween bat decoration that I made for TikTok, like in October, is still Wait, here. So we're back from our walk. Do you still have enough time on your lunch break to help me fix my bike? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Should you do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, if you don't mind. Here she is, my little yellow beach cruiser in all her glory. Except the back wheel is flat, which is very sad. So I want you to take bike rides. I'm eating a leftover peanut butter chocolate chip cookie while Matt does all the hard work. Well, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> the tube popped. Um, I think we overinflated it a little bit. So I guess we have to go get a new tube now, which means no bike. Just sad, and it made a really loud noise and scared the crap out of me. <laughs> but it's hard because it's like, I wish we could just take it into a bike shop to get fixed, and we can't. <sighs> so that's a bit of a downer on the day. You messed it up. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's not your fault. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. You're not a professional bike tire changer. No, I'm not. That's for certain. I appreciate you trying. Let's see. Where's my, where's my phone? How to change bike team.com. <laughs> we should have looked that up before. Oh no, wait, this is an adult site. So on a whim, Matt decided to check the old tube to see where the puncture was, and he like couldn't find it. So he reinflated the old tube, and we might be in business, or it might pop again. But this needs to be our last attempt because his lunch break's almost over. <laughs> Fingers crossed, and I'm emotionally prepared this time if it pops. Does it feel like a bike tire? Yeah. Unexpected happy turn of events. Also, look at the most beautiful tulips that Matt brought home from our weekly grocery trip to surprise me. Aren't they so pretty? I'm obsessed with them. He's so sweet. Are you having fun? <laughs> Can we go for a ride when you're done with work? Yes. Okay. We got some fun little baby deliveries in. I ordered this really sweet pear swaddle from Little Unicorn. And then my friend Mackenzie sent us this sweater for him, which is just the cutest thing in the world and was so sweet of her. So, very happy day. I love baby mail. Got Duffy hanging out in the corner. I finally managed to take the uh, plastic out of the front of these prints so they're not so reflective anymore. Very nice. <laughs> okay, so Matt had to go back to work for a few hours. I mean go back to work. He's at the kitchen table, but he's no longer available to entertain me. Um, so, <laughs> he's over here dancing. Um, so, in order to entertain myself, I'm going to make the Kristen made sugar scrub because I've been doing a lot of self tanner. Um, and obviously I need to exfoliate before I do self tanner. So, I'm only gonna do a third 
of the recipe because baking supplies are high demand right now. So I don't want to use three cups of sugar. So I'm just going to do one cup, but that'll keep me going for a while. It's almost like baking. I really want to make bread, but I just don't have enough flour. One cup of sugar. Oh yeah, that'll make plenty. That's a lot. We'll call that a third of a cup of coconut oil. And then four drops each of lemon and lavender essential oil. And then I'm just going to mix it up. So this is what the consistency looks like. I think I have some cute little tins or jars to put this in. Okay, Matt's in a meeting, so I have to be kind of quiet. But this is how they turned out. I used my little label maker to label them. And they smell so good. And even just a third of the recipe, I feel like, made so much. Yay! Okay, since Matt's in a meeting and I don't want to disturb them, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of quiet time. I got this super cute notebook recently. It has little strawberries on it, it's so cute. So I am just gonna sit here and write some lists, try to get organized. Um, I have been doing some like gratitude journaling throughout this whole crazy experience because it helps me look for good things in my days. So I'll probably write out my little gratitude list for the day. Um, and new notebooks are so exciting and I've got my favorite pen here too. It's just the cutest little duo. I just realized that this notebook is so weird. Like it has a big blank space at the top of every page. Does anybody know what that's for? up a little bit because the bunnies have made a mess and I think I'm also going to try to just very lightly go through my closet and pull out some of the stuff that doesn't fit me pregnancy wise um, just have a little bit more room in my closet um, and I'll try to put that stuff under my bed if it fits better there's like actually room now for things to move um i put all of my fall clothes in matt's closet because <laughs> he had extra room and then i put my spring and summer stuff that doesn't fit preggy belly um under our bed in the storage container and i also found some stuff um to sell just like some made wool sweaters that are so cute that i um uh, thrifted but then like never really gravitated towards so look out on my poshmark for those but yeah I'm gonna call it a day, I could definitely do more, but that is a lot less stressful than like trying to cram hangers in here. I also just kind of like organized everything as far as like, we've got tank tops, short sleeve shirts, tank top dresses, short sleeve dresses, jeans and overalls, and then like more wintry stuff in the back, so. Also gonna swap out these wintry hats for some summery ones. Put that one up there. Take this one down. Yay! Now it's really spring. It is almost 5.30 and that's finally off of work. Do you know what that means? <laughs> it's Corona time! It's Corona time! Anybody eat that TikTok audio? <laughs> Ooh, I just show you my new Monstera leaf. It's so exciting. It's like not all the way unfurled yet. But look at how massive this is. Like, that's my hand for reference. What do you think? Should we do dinner and then bike ride or bike ride and then dinner? Dinner, since neither of us had lunch. Okay. <laughs> Should we have leftovers? We took lunch, but we didn't eat lunch. Yeah, we just did productive things. <laughs> I want leftovers, but I also kind of want pizza. Ooh, we should make pizza.
We also have that uh, game night with Annalise and Spencer tonight. Don't oh, forget. is that tonight? Yeah. Okay, so we changed our minds because we realized it's like six o'clock <laughs> and the sun's gonna go down, it's gonna get cold. So we're gonna take a very short bike ride before we make pizza. Here he comes! Oh, I forgot to bring the phone. Oh, that's okay. I'm not very good at balancing on this. So this is actually amazing that I'm vlogging right now. Vlog on that thing for like five seconds at a time. <laughs> I'm losing my balance. Very easy. This is like the prettiest part, and not just because of his booty. Well, the tire started to go a little bit flat as I was riding it, so I do need a new tube. But that was fun, and it worked. <laughs> All right, it's time to make pizza. Um, we're not making the crust from scratch because again, I feel like I said this like eight times in this vlog. We can't find flour anywhere, um, but we do have these. They're the Essential Baking Company Thin Crust Pizzas, and they're really, really good. These are all the ingredients we've got going on. Did you preheat? Preheat to what? 450. 450. <laughs> got this fancy marinara sauce from Imperfect. Is this resealable, or we just have an open bag with a crust in it? Um, I think last time we like close pinned it shut. Grab it. Get them. Should we use? The crusty with the burnties. Oh, oh this is it's broken. It's broken. Guess we're using this one. <laughs> we're gonna do sauce all the way up to the edges. If we brush the edges with like garlic and olive oil, so that we get like a crunchy Ooh, garlic. That crust. sounds good. Yeah. You want to be in charge of that? Yeah. We're excited. This cutting board is too dang small. <laughs> this is some chunky sauce. Chunky monker. Ooh, this cheese smells so good. It's a mozzarella parmesan blend. Ooh. Okay. Wait, no, you're gonna get your hand in the pizza. I just did. Oh, yeah. Is it good? Mm-hmm. So you like it a little bit less cheesy, right? Well, okay, so no. I like it a lot of cheesy. Well, wait. And I'm just gonna put it on the edges. I was I was gonna suggest um, minced garlic instead of garlic powder. I want more. Ooh, mm. that is good. I would honestly go all the way out to the crust just for like a little bit. Okay. Like lighter than you put on the sauce, because then we'll get like golden brown cheese on the on the edges too. Are you putting veggies on this pizza? Yeah. Gross. Gonna make a pizza. Gonna put it in the oven. Gonna eat it with my wife. Cause it's the pizza. Pepperoni for you. Pepperoni for me. Pepperoni for us. Pepperoni for we. Ding! Look how cute that is. Today's special sauce is Alpine Touch. It's not available at your local store. Online only. Unless you're from Montana. This is gonna be bomb. Bum, bum, bum. Here, I'll move this so you can clean up my mess. Wait, I want to show them the pizza. This is what we got going on. This is Matt's half, and that's my half. Funny food. <laughs> it's the food that food eats. <laughs> She's beautiful. <laughs> we did a good job, baby. Yes, it looks delicious. So we don't have a bottle of red wine open. I couldn't drink it anyway. Oh, that's right. <sighs> <laughs> you drink the whole thing by yourself. <laughs> All I want to eat. Let's cut her. The golden crispy crust worked out exactly as I wanted. I know, that was a great idea. It looks so good. We've got our yummy pizza. We've got some fixer effort to watch. Crust. Yeah, is it good? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a little taste test. Mm. That is good. We did good. So we're just gonna eat dinner. And then we have a little game night plan with some friends. Um, I might insert some B-roll here. If I do, here you go. Hi, it's Annalise and Spencer. I'm vlogging today. You're vlogging? Yep. How are you guys? Oh, <laughs> I'm taking to you too. <laughs> We're supposed to have our digital double date. Heck yeah, Matt's getting the Jackbox all set up. Gonna 
close out the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, I don't know. Our days look kind of the same now all the time because of the quarantine. But at the same time, today was really fun and special because we got to do lots of things together. And we spent so much time outside and it was sunny and happy. It was alright. Every day with you is an adventure. A bad adventure, but an adventure. Sometimes it's like a roller coaster that goes off the rails. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing okay and not going too stir crazy um, wherever you are and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Stir crazy is what it's called when you mix your batter too much. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Bye guys.